Mighty Max Strikes Fang, or Pharaoh Fang, is one of the battle warriors from the Mighty Max toy line. Essentially, we've got this giant enemy action figure that forms the playset. Pharaoh Fang himself actually has his own weapons and accessories. His tail forms part of the whip, he's got his staff, and he's got his very own little flick projectile type thing that comes out of his hand. But um, let's open this guy up. Opening up the chest will reveal Mighty Max as well as the snake pit. In the story, when Mighty Max falls into the snake pit, he actually ends up charming the snakes in there. So um, I do really feel like the chest cavity is an awesome place to have something like a snake pit. And we saw a snake pit in the Palace of Poison playset that also came out as a Doom Zone. I feel like the enclosed feeling here actually makes this one just a much cooler design for a snake pit. You know, as far as snake pits go, I'm no snake pit connoisseur. In the head section, we have the mummy. Um, his name is Venom, which is a strange name for a mummy, but he's the one who obviously called Pharaoh Fang back to life. The purple piece that actually comes off the top of Pharaoh Fang's head forms the cape for the mummy. So I'm not sure how many mummies wore capes either, but it does help hold the figure up. I actually read somewhere that the head is like the tomb for Venom, the mummy. So that's it's kind of cool that there's two sections to the playset. The tomb where Venom rises and calls forth Pharaoh Fang and the chest cavity that forms the snake pit for Max to fall into. There's not much to see in the head of Pharaoh Fang, but in the chest cavity itself, there are some great sculpted details on the back wall, uh, the stickers on the floor, there's some great snakes dripping down. It's got a really cool little vibe going on in there. One thing that I did think was kind of cool here is how well this theme here works with another Mighty Max Doom Zone, the Palace of Poison. What I didn't realize until I started editing this episode was that the mummies were the same mummy, uh, Venom. There was actually a TV episode inspired by Mighty Max vs. the Mummy Venom, uh, Snakes and Laddies. I guess you could nearly think of it as a crossover between these two playsets. It features snakes, it actually features one very big snake. Um, it doesn't feature, you know, Pharaoh Fang, but it also doesn't feature a giant scorpion. So it's, it's got the giant snake and I guess it's a really good mashup between these two different playsets. Just as a figure, I think Pharaoh Fang looks really cool. Not all the details are painted, but there are some great color combinations here. As for articulation, we've got movable shoulders and hips, as well as the neck that's all connected with the shoulders and the arms. So um, there is a little bit of articulation. It does make a really cool action figure. And like I said, it comes with its own accessories, which is a really nice touch. And overall, I'm a big fan of the theme for this playset as well as the look, but I might be a bit biased. This is one that I actually had as a young fella, so um, that was really cool to find again just on eBay, but at a good price. And look, as always, let me know what you think of the figure. I do enjoy hearing from people who enjoy the same figures, but at the same time, everyone's got such a different opinion when it comes to things like the Mighty Max figures. So if you hated the playset, let me know if you just didn't like the Battle Warriors toy line in general. Yeah, I'd love to hear from you. Um, anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Uh, feel free to like. Actually, it, I'd really appreciate it if you like the show, if you hit like. It does really help me out. Leave your comment, subscribe if you're brave enough, and tune in next time when we see how well these things wash in the dishwasher. All right, guys, thank you very much. Cheers.